Streamlabs OBS is a great program for all your live streaming needs. But did you know it's also a great program for all your recording needs. In this video right here, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to optimize the correct settings for your audio, video, and the output for anything you wanna record using Streamlabs OBS, and here we go. Well, hello there, all you awesome people. Wild for Games here, helping you become bigger and better with Streamlabs OBS. If this is your first time here, or you're coming back and you want a refresher on how to do things better with recording on Streamlabs OBS, I'm gonna do you a favor. Down here below at the bottom of the screen, I'm gonna put timestamps for audio, video, and the output, so that way you can go directly to it. But before we jump into it, please note all these settings and optimizations I'm about to give you are strictly for recording. If you want to record and stream at the same time or do some variations of that, you're gonna have slightly different settings from what I'm about to give to you. So just to let you know as we go forward. To start off strong, we're gonna talk audio. We wanna make sure your audio is set correctly for all your recording needs. If you have a microphone connected to your computer, Streamlabs OBS should automatically detect it and show it on the audio mixer. To change the microphone that's being captured, click on the settings cog in the lower left-hand corner of Streamlabs OBS. Open up the audio settings and click a different microphone. When it comes to recording content with Streamlabs OBS, you have the ability to assign certain audio inputs to specific tracks. This is really gonna help you out with all your editing needs down the road. To assign audio inputs to specific tracks, first open up the advanced audio settings by clicking on the settings cog in the audio mixer. All six tracks will be checked by default. This means all your audio inputs will be combined. In most cases, you'll wanna give each audio input its own specific track. You can also combine all of your audio into one track if you wish. In this case, our desktop audio is assigned to track one, while our mic audio is assigned to track two. Adjusting the number of tracks in this section depends on how many audio inputs you've assigned in the advanced audio settings. Now, when you upload your file to your editing software, you're gonna have two audio tracks, one for your desktop audio and one for your microphone audio. This is a really good setup if you like to edit montages, best clips, or wanna post something on your social media. When it comes to the recording options for video, we wanna make sure you get the best picture quality possible. Navigate to the video settings by clicking on the settings cog in the lower left hand corner of Streamlabs OBS and click on video. The first thing you're gonna see is base canvas resolution. This is for recording gameplay. It is recommended that your base resolution match your monitor's resolution. In this case, we're gonna go with 2560 by 1440. When it comes to output scaled resolution, it's recommended you choose the highest quality output resolution possible. In this case, it's the same number as we said before. Off these two settings alone, if you already notice that your computer's struggling, try a lower resolution because it's really gonna help it out a lot. For your downscale filter, we recommend you choose LAN shows as it's gonna provide the best quality at the cost of slightly more CPU. When it comes to FPS, we recommend 60 frames per second for most cases especially for gameplay that involves a lot of action and movement. If you're playing a board game or something that is more static, you can probably get away with 30 frames per second, but in general, you wanna to try to record as many frames as you can. To make any adjustments to the output settings, all you need to do is go to the cog wheel on the lower left-hand corner of Streamlabs OBS and click on output. Under the output settings, you're gonna see recording path, which is where you get to pick the destination you'd like your recording to appear. When it comes to recording format, in most cases, we recommend MP4. When it comes to recording softwares, it really boils down to two types, software, which is X264, and hardware, which is NVENC. The software encoder X264 will use your CPU to encode video, while hardware encoders like NVENC will offload the encoding process to your GPU. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, we recommend you record with NVENC. When it comes to rate control, we recommend using CQP. This will help control the amount of compression and video quality for any given frame. However, if you're using X264, we really recommend you use CRF to control your rate. Under CQ level, large value means there will be higher quantization, more compression, and lower quality. Lower value means the opposite. We recommend starting at 17 and adjusting from there depending on the performance of your computer. 
key level frame interval? This one's simple, keep it at zero. When it comes to presets, we recommend choosing the highest setting, so max quality. If you run into performance issues, please feel free to adjust the settings accordingly. When it comes to profile, this is an easy one. We recommend leaving it on high. You can leave the rest of the settings in the section on their default state as they won't have much impact on your quality. Now that we've made all the proper adjustments to your audio, your video, and the output settings, you have to test your machine to make sure it can handle the performance of what you're asking it to do. Press Control Shift Escape to bring up your task manager and click on performance. Try recording gameplay with Streamlabs OBS and monitor the performance on this screen. If your CPU usage is too high, try adjusting the settings outlined above to optimize your computer. When it comes to testing your performance, don't do it for just a few seconds. Really test out your machine under different situations to make sure it's gonna be fine and it's not really going to struggle. We wanna make sure that you get clean, crisp, and smooth recorded footage so that way you're gonna have the best quality possible for whatever you're gonna need it for. I'm glad I can help you get a better understanding of how to get the best performance out of your machine and get great quality for all your recording needs. Now it's up to you to chop it all up and get it out in front of your community so that way people will love to binge the content that you're creating. If you guys need any more help, you know I'm always here to help you out. My name's Wild for Games. Make sure to keep up with me here on Streamlabs. And until next time, I'm gonna put two videos up here on screen that are gonna teach you a lot more of how to use Streamlabs OBS to the best of its ability. Make sure you watch those videos right after the end of this one because you're just going to love it. Until next time, my friends, take care and of course, peace.